Hi guys, Shufia here. Today I am going to start a new chapter. The name of the chapter is Parallel Lines. And um, I have split the videos, introductory videos into three parts. So guys, let's start. Today I am going to start a new chapter. Name of the chapter is Parallel Lines. Okay. Um, before starting, I am going to explain some geometrical terms some students might know it from before then uh, you can take it as a warm-up session and if you don't know or uh, you have forgotten the terms then you just listen to my uh, this uh, uh, explanation very carefully very carefully you just listen to me and uh, then only you will uh, find the chapter an easy one okay so let me start with parallel lines what are parallel lines okay we all know parallel lines are lines which uh, never meet or never intersects uh, they are called the lines which never meets are called parallel lines okay now i have drawn here some figures you see these two if we denote by L and M, L and M are parallel lines. Again, this arrow means they are going to up to infinity. Otherwise, if it is like this, we will say that this is a line segment. And this arrow means this is a line. Okay, so this is L, M, N. These are also parallel lines. And this, if we denote like X, Y, these are also parallel lines. And we denote by this one error parallel lines by this one. Okay. If it is A, B, C, D, then we denote A, B parallel C, D like this. But the thing is that if we say that uh, these lines will never meet each other, then whether this is a complete definition of parallel lines? No. This is not a complete definition of parallel lines. Okay. Because I can show you two lines which are which will never meet, but they are not parallel lines. Let me show you. Here, let me draw one plane first. I'm drawing one plane. This is a plane. And here I'm drawing one line. This one is a line. This one is a plane. Suppose name of the plane is X. This one is a line which is L. And I am drawing another line like this which is perpendicular. Okay. This one is another line. Suppose name of the line is Y. Okay. So you see this L and Y. They are they don't meet they are not meeting at any point but they are not parallel lines i'm showing you another example like this you see if this is a line here l and this one will be y okay this one is perpendicular to this l but the thing is that they are not never meeting you see they won't meet at any point they are not meeting at any point However far they are extended or produced, you see, they are not going to meet. But still, I am not telling, we are not telling they are parallel lines. Why? Because they are not parallel. And they are uh, in different planes. Okay? So, this is in uh, one plane. This one is in another plane. So, we are not telling they are parallel lines. So, the definition of parallel lines should be like this. Two straight lines lying in the same plane. In the same plane. That is two coplanar straight lines are parallel if they never meet or intersect. Okay. So two conditions are there. One is that they should be coplanar straight lines and another is they never meet or intersect. So always keep it in your mind that parallel lines, yes, they never meet. And another, and another most important uh, condition is that they should be in the 
same plane. Okay, otherwise they won't be parallel. Uh, only with one condition we can't say that these are parallel. Okay, so this is if it is L and this is Y, then I can draw another line like this. If I like uh, draw a line M, you see these two lines are in the same plane. So we can say that L and M are parallel and a, B, here A, B and C, D and here uh, we denote it by like this and we write like this A, B is parallel to C, D. This is the way we write parallel lines. Okay. L is parallel to M. We write like this. Okay. So this is the about parallel lines. These are about parallel lines and uh, examples of parallel lines. Um, you can uh, see here in this copy also we are getting parallel lines you see on the um, right hand side and left hand side this pair this pair these pairs are called parallel lines these lines are called parallel lines you see here this one and this one these are the these are not going to meet at any point so these are parallel lines again this side and this side these are also parallel lines but if in this copy we take one um, side from the topmost page and another side from the middle of the copy or the bottommost page then these two sides will not be parallel lines because this one and the bottommost page left hand side will not be in the uh, don't lie in the same plane so this is an important one the line should be in the same plane as well as they never meet then only we will say that these lines are parallel lines okay another most common example of parallel lines is a railway track yes as uh, throughout the train the gap between the wheels is same so obviously obviously tracks are uh, to be parallel same distance apart at each point you see at each point tracks are to be at same distance apart so they naturally they don't intersect at any point so they must be parallel so this is another example of uh, parallel lines so that's all about parallel lines okay now i'm going to explain transversal okay what is a transversal? So, transversal is a straight line which uh, meets two or more straight lines in a plane at different points. Okay? In different points. So, let me draw now. Suppose two straight lines I am drawing like this. This is a straight line L. This one is another straight line M. Then, if we draw like this, a straight line suppose I am denoting it by T so this is another straight line which meets these two straight line in two different points then this straight line we, um, we will call this straight line as transversal okay now in transversal we can take parallel lines we can take non parallel lines these are not parallel but then also we said that T is a transversal. Now I am taking parallel lines. Okay. These two lines are parallel lines. L, M, P, Q. Suppose this is P, this is Q. And this one is another line. T, 1. Then this is also transversal. Again it is uh, given two or more lines. Okay. So suppose I am taking three lines. This is our, suppose, uh, R, S, suppose, R, S, A, because T, I have already taken here. So, suppose this is R, S, A, are three lines, and now I am drawing this one. This one is our T, 2. This one is also transversal, because this one is cutting these three points, meeting these three lines in three distinct points. So, this is called a transversal. Got it? 
transversal is the line which meets or you may say which cuts two or more straight lines in a plane at different points okay bhalke tumalko bujilwa transversal ene ko eta line ji tu duta ba dutat ke beshi line ok kate different points eketa point ot katile no hobo belek belek point ot katibo laiwa aru tetia hole ami etu line ok ki buli ko transversal buli ko okay so these are different in different types of lines one is non parallel another is parallel this is more than two lines now i am going to draw one line which is not transversal you see these are two lines suppose this one is our uh, m1 this one is m2 these are two lines and these are meeting one point now i am doing another line because by the definition of transversal this should meet two lines okay now this line also meeting this m1 and m2 two lines here this one is the meeting point okay dutra line okay meet korise kintu not at different points in the same point so this is not a transversal because it is meeting these two lines in the same point not in different points so in that case we will say that this is t3 is not a transversal so etu condition monot rakhibo rakhiba tumaluke je etu belak belak point ot meet koribo lagibo tetia hole ami take at a transversal of the given lines l r u m or t at a transversal t1 p r u q at a transversal t2 R S R transversal बोली कौन? किंतु T three का मैं M one R O M two transversal बोली ना को कारण मात्रो ऐटा point तो meet कोई से दूसरा point ऐटा के basic point तो meet करने है कारण है this is not a transversal of the lines okay clear so now I am going to explain the terms and properties and goals many things are there you will get it related to the parallel lines and transversal okay so guys that's all for today and if you want to have a thorough knowledge on this topic that is parallel lines then don't miss any of my introductory videos and so see you guys in my next introductory video till then bye